And hi guys! I'm going to do a tag video for you. It's the ultimate book tag. It is created by Megan on Goodreads. And I'll leave a link, a link to her Goodreads in the description. And the video, the tag video, was started by Chapter Chicks. And I'll leave a link to their video in the description as well. This tag is 25 questions long. And let's get started. First question is, do you get sick while reading in the car? I don't really read in the car, because uh, I have a six-year-old brother, so reading doesn't really get done in the car. Uh, but I don't get sick in the car when I do read. Next question, which author's writing style is completely unique to you and why? I'd have to say Cassandra Clare for that, because I never read anything like her books before, so she's like, it's very unique to me. Uh, the third question, is Harry Potter series or the Twilight Saga? Give three points to defend your answer. I actually haven't read Harry Potter yet, so I have to say Twilight. But I do hope to read Harry Potter soon. I want to watch the final movie before I actually start reading the books. Um, fourth question, do you carry a book bag? If so, what's in it besides books? I carry a backpack with all my textbooks in it, but my purse that I carry with me all the time, I, I have obviously hand sanitizer, little Pez dispenser, and a thing from homecoming freshman year of high school, and I have my glasses, my wallet, my cell phone charger, um, and one of two iPods that I have, um, gum, a bunch of trash, and a pencil. A box of band-aids. And then I have my keys to my house. <laughs> and some bubbles that I got at a wedding. That's what is in my purse. Uh, the next question is, do you smell your books? Sometimes. Um, sometimes uh, older books have a certain smell to them, so you can't really help it. So, yeah. Um, question six. Books with or without little illustrations? I like some illustrations in my book. Um, especially, like, up by the chapters. I think it like, adds really nice details to them. Question 7. What book did you love while reading but discovered later it wasn't quality writing? Even though I did like Twilight, I have to say Twilight. Um, the writing wasn't really up to everything else that I read after it. But I still really love the book even though the writing's not that great. Um, question 8. Do you have any funny stories involving books from your childhood? Please share. Not really, actually. Um, I didn't really read much as a child. I didn't start reading really until middle school, so I really don't have any funny stories with that. Um, number Question 9. What is the thinnest book on your shelf? That would be Much Ado About Nothing by William Shakespeare. It's the one that I got in high school because I had to read it. It's like really really tiny. And then question 10 is what is, the, what is the thickest book on your shelf? And that would have to be my Lord of the Rings bind up which I'm currently reading with minus the uh, plus all of the appendices it is um, It is 
1137 pages long and it is very heavy so this is the thickest book on my shelf um, question 11 do you write as well as read do you consider yourself in the future as being an author yes I do write as well as read I'm actually going to school to major in creative writing I have written some short stories and stuff I'm not gonna share them with anybody because I don't think they're that great but yeah I do write and I hope to be an author at some point um, question 12 when did you get into reading as I said like around middle school because I tried reading when I was a child but didn't really capture my interest until because I thought every book that we read in school was really stupid until we read the re the Westin game in like sixth grade and then I discovered that reading can be fun so yeah um question 13 what is your favorite classic book and now that, that would have to be Hamlet by William Shakespeare um question 14 in, in school was your best subject language arts and English yes I always loved English and language arts I've always had really those are always my best grades ever and I really I really love those classes that's why I'm majoring in writing question 15 if you were giving a book as a present that you had read before and hated what would you do Chances are I'd already have the book because I don't read anything that I don't own. So I'd probably already have it, but I'd keep it. Um, question 16. What is a lesser known series that you, uh, that you know of that is similar to Harry Potter or The Hunger Games? I don't... Hunger Games is the only dystopian novel that I've read so far. But I hope to get around to read other ones. So there was really nothing that could compare to them that I've read. Um, question 17. What is a bad habit you always do besides rambling while filming? I play with my hair a lot and I say um a lot. So yeah. Question 18. What is your favorite word? Um, I have to say I, lo I love Kung Fu Panda. So I have to say my favorite word is skadoosh. Um, question 19. Are you a nerd, dork, or dweeb, or all of the above? I'm a self-proclaimed nerd. Me and my best friend are, like, the biggest nerds ever. Um, question 20. Vampires or fairies? Why? I have to say vampires because who doesn't love a good vampire book? Um, 21. Shapeshifters or angels? Why? I have to say angels because I haven't really read shapeshifters, so I don't really know that much about shapeshifters. And I find you can do, I think, much more with angels. Question 22. Spirits or werewolves and why? I'd have to say werewolves. Um, I do believe spirits are real. I just do not like to read about them at all. <laughs> so definitely werewolves. 23. Zombies or vampires? Vampires because I am immensely afraid of zombies. Uh, 24. Love triangle or forbidden love? And I'd have to say forbidden love. Because I think love triangles can be very cliche and overdone. So forbidden love. And finally full-on romance books or action-packed with a few love scenes mixed in and I don't like full-on romance that just ew, <laughs> I don't like that at all so definitely action-packed with a few love scenes mixed in and if you're watching this video I tag you and um, hopefully I can get more videos up soon if there is another tag that you would like me to do let me know in the comments below and I, like I said, I'll leave a link to Megan's Goodreads in the description and also to Chapter Chick's video in the description as well. So until next video, bye!